Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you add table of contents on any WordPress website. Table of contents is the best feature that you can add on any blog post. Let me show you an example. On this blog post, I have added the table of content at the top. If someone wants to go to a particular section on the blog post, they can simply click on that table of content and it will go to that section. So the visitors do not have to go through all the contents on the blog post they can go to a particular section using the table of contents let me show you if i click on this one it will go directly to this particular section this table of content is fully customizable you can change the color settings according to your website requirements the name of the plugin is ultimate blocks it is not only for the table of contents you can add many different blocks to your default Gutenberg editor. In this video, I'm going to work on table of contents. This plugin has free as well as premium version. You can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 50,000 WordPress websites. The premium version of this plugin will cost you only $49 per year for a single website. And there is a 14 days money back guarantee. And you will see all these blocks are available in the premium version. The table of contents block is available in the free version. So you can use the free plugin to create table of contents. So let's see how we can add table of contents on a WordPress website using the free Ultimate Blocks plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here search for ultimate blocks. This is the plugin ultimate blocks WordPress blocks plugin. And you can see that it has been installed on more than 50,000 WordPress websites. Click on install now. Click on activate plugin. If you want to opt for the email notification you can click on allow and continue i'm going to click on skip now we are on the dashboard of this plugin you will see in the left hand panel ultimate blocks and we are on the dashboard this is the welcome video and here you will see documentation if you need any help you can go to the documentation at the top you will see blocks so these blocks are available some of them are only for the pro you will see coupons is for the pro the timeline is also for the pro plugin and the other blocks are available for the free plugin. Let's go to extension. These are the extensions. Animation is for the pro. Visibility control is also for the pro. Custom CSS and responsive control is for the free plugin. So as of now, all the free blocks are enabled. Let's go to the website and we are going to add the table of contents on one of the post. Here I have one post. Let's go to this post. Okay, so we are on the post here and we are going to add table of content on this blog post. So let's go to edit post. So at the top, I want to add table of content. So I'll go to the top of this blog post and click on the plus sign here or click on plus sign here. You will see all the blocks which are available to use. These are the ultimate blocks, testimonials, call to action, divider, social share, click to tweet, button block, tab content star rating and here you will see table of content so i'm going to drag and drop this one here at the top okay so this is the table of content for this particular blog post now in the right hand column you will see all the settings for this blog which headings do you want to show in the table of content it will start with the h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 now i do not want h5 and h6 so i'm going to uncheck these boxes i can also uncheck h4 at the top this is the title of the blog post which is in h1 so i do not want that one also so i'm going to uncheck h1 also so i'm using only h2 and h3 according to your blog post requirement you can select the headings let's go to layout here now you will see different layouts one column two columns you will see two columns here now or you can use three columns so I'm going to select one column. Here you will see the title. I can add the title here, table of content. Okay, now we have list type will be bullet or you can use number. 
So you will see numbers here or you can simply use without any number. All right, so I'm going to select numbers. All right, so this is the list type. Then we have collapsible. Do you want to make it collapsible? If you enable it, it will be a collapsible. Initial show, right now it is initially opened. If I disable this, it will not show initially. So if someone wants to check the table of contents, then they can click on show and it will show the table of content. This is when you disable the option. Initial hide on mobile devices. If you want to hide it or initially on the mobile devices, you can enable this option. Then we have scroll relative to first available fixed sticky element or relative to a specific element. I'm going to keep it as it is and I'm going to enable smooth scrolling. So if someone clicks on it, it will scroll to that particular section smoothly. Additional settings, link to divider, romanize anchor links. Below that we have pro options, additional settings for the pro version. So if you have pro version, you can use these additional settings. If you want to make it sticky, you can enable this option. However, it is available only for the pro plugin. Then we have other additional settings. Instead of using numbers, you can also use icons here. I guess it is also available for the pro version only. Visibility control is again for the pro version and animation is also for the pro version. Right, so I'm going to click on save and let's see how does this work. Let's view the post. Okay, so at the top you will see table of contents. If I click on this option, it will go to that section. So this is a useful feature that you can add on your blog post. All right, let's go back and let's go to style settings. At the top, you will see the style settings. Now you can customize the style settings. These are the advanced settings that we have colors. You can change the colors. This is the title color. You can select the title color. Then we have title background color. You can also change the background color for the title. So this is the title background color. I'm going to change it like this. Okay, now below that we have list color. This is the list. You can change the list color. Then list background color. You can also change the list background color. All right, then we have number item color. This is, these are the numbers. You can change the color of these numbers. All right, then we have padding and margin settings. Below that we have custom CSS. If you want to add custom CSS, you can add custom CSS. Click save. Let's go back, refresh it. And you will see the changes. All right, now I'm going to install the premium version of the plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. I have it already downloaded, so I'm going to upload the plugin. The pricing of the premium version is only $49 for a single website per year. You will get all pro features, one year update, one year priority support. And there is also 14 days money back guarantee. And you will see all these blocks will be available in the premium version. Let's activate the pro plugin. Here you will see activate license. So I'm going to add the license key here. Agree and activate. All right, so the pro plugin is activated. Let's go to ultimate blocks. Go to blocks and you will see that all the other blocks are available. Timeline pro is also available. So I can use that one. And you can see we have animation and visibility control also available. So let's go back to post and we will try to add it on another blog post. Let's click on edit and we are going to add table of contents on this blog post. At the top, I'm going to add the table of contents. So click on plus sign and search for table of contents. Drag it and drop it. Now on this blog post, I have H2, S3 tags also. So I'm going to uncheck H1 and I'm going to uncheck H5, H6 and H4. Okay, so I'm using H2 and H3. You will see the difference here. This is the H2, H2 and this is the H3. Let's go to layout. I'll keep it on single column. Let's make it numbered. So you will see 1, 2, H3 is 2.1 and this H3 is 3.1. Okay, so it has numbered automatically. Let's make it collapsible. Then if I go to visibility control, you can control the visibility. 
hide the block from everywhere enable schedule you can also control the visibility of this table of contents you can schedule it so here you can select the date when you want to show this table of content hide when schedules apply user role will be public then we have animation we can use different animations let's use bounce and this is how it will look then we have flash a rubber band this one also looks good then we have repeat or infinite how many times do you want to animate let's make it two times and uh, let's try another one here so the animation worked two times duration one second delay so you can customize these animation settings then we have responsive control hide it on desktop tablet or mobile if you want to hide it on mobile you can simply enable this option and it will be hidden on the mobile devices click on save and let's view the post and you will see the table of contents at the top and you will also see the animation that we have added for this table of content so if i click on it it will go directly to that section i think we need to add smooth scrolling so let's go to the top scroll enable smooth scrolling save it now let's refresh it let's try this one okay now you will see the smooth scrolling here so i think this is one of the best plugins to add table of contents on a wordpress website you can install the free plugin and add the table of contents on any blog post using the ultimate blocks plugin if you want advanced features you can go for the premium version of the plugin if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips